Hello gamers and welcome to the last match of round one here in the Lockout Bingo Free For All Tournament in SM64. Uh, organized by our gamer in the chat today actually, that Drunken Dwarf, able to make his own tournament matches. Very epic and cool. Uh, everybody make sure to give a round of applause to that Drunken Dwarf if you see him in the chat. But uh, in the commentary booth today I got Joey Bag of Donuts, whose name I have had to abbreviate because it is far too long for this layout. Joey, how are you doing today? I am low on caffeine and kind of tired, so uh, we'll see how this goes. Yeah, I mean, I sleeping, the... probably a good idea, but I mean, commentary more important, so I appreciate you being here. Absolutely. Sad that I have to turn down the song in a second. Actually, I'm definitely sad. Yeah, that's unfortunate. It's really not the outcome you want to see when having the uh, OST playing in the background. Just really don't want to turn it off ever. Turn it off though right. as the match is beginning. It's definitely the best song in the game by far. Most definitely. Princess Toadstool. Okay, good. Peach. Bungie has audio. Poggers. Good old Amarak taking about 18 years to get started here, but you now it gets there eventually. It's a program from 1985, so you gotta give it some time. Alright, have you had any time to inspect the card, Joey? What are you looking at here? I'm looking over it now. Um, right off the bat, I'm thinking people will probably hit over WOM, so maybe get 140 coins at one stage. Other than that, it's probably going to be rush to basement and upstairs. Um, maybe 4 and BOB and CCM would be a good option as well. Just now taking off myself. I mean, looks like we have quite a few stars upstairs, uh, like you're saying. Uh, not too many, though. I mean, I'm not seeing a ton of upstairs action. I'm seeing quite a bit of basements and DBH. You know, Womp's Fortress 100 point star definitely going to be, uh, like you said, something that the gamers are looking at. Um, trying to find any sort of synergy here, and I'm not really seeing a ton of it. Obviously, really the only one I can see is um, 140 points one stage and then Womp's 100, but other than that, I'm not seeing too much either, yeah. Yeah, with this format though, it is a bit uh, risky to go for that, considering this is lockout bingo, so it's not like normal bingo where you're trying to, you know, match five in a row, you can take as many boxes as you want. Uh, as soon as one player takes a box, that is it, nobody else can get that box, so... As soon as one player collects 100 coin and also that 140, uh, we're gonna not be able to get it from any of the other players, so it can be a bit of a bad strategy to go for those, like, obvious ones. Uh, it can sometimes pay off, you know, to try to be kind of creative with those routings, and... Uh, it looks like Phaser here, going for the Piranha Plant right off the bat, perhaps has a route planned here for the 140 coins. Well, it would seem like that to me, it's... Looks like Zach is just gonna be going for Candlest right away, so probably not opting for the 100 coin route at all. Maybe just trying to get, get stairs, get stars rather to get to a basement as quickly as possible. Yeah, we got Yogo and Benji both neck and neck here going for this 100 coin. Very cool to see, considering the fact that Benji, you know, is one of those really veteran players, well known in the community. Yogo C, not so much. Uh, I think he's relatively new to the game. Uh, definitely has some skill, been playing a little bit, but I've not heard much from him. It looks like Benji gonna be the first person to wrap up this 100 point star here. Benji is the first to mark it off. I'm guessing probably Phaser Laser will be um, getting a 140. 
don't know what anyone else going for now besides actually not even Yogo is going for it. So yeah, it's probably gonna be phasers for the taking here. And really nice hunter coin there from Benji. Yeah, phaser risking it all. Gonna grab the star here. I was waiting for that blue coin to spawn, so it does make sense. And does have more coins than Yogo at this point, so it's not gonna really lose him uh, that 140 coins. Yeah, and Yogo didn't get the Womps either, so he's not gonna be able to get all the coins anyway. Unless he goes back for him, which at this point I don't know why he would. It's a nice salt cluster there from Benji64, I believe the first of this tournament. Very nice, nicely done there. Nutty. Phaser does have the 140 coins done. And again, I can probably see someone just getting. Not now, it's really just a rush for, rush for basement unless someone wants to get wind cap and do all in BOB. And then four BOB and CCM, maybe. Uh, three stars and six stages could be one. If someone gets here eventually in the latter half of this match here, or this round rather. Yeah, definitely an option. I mean, it's only 18 stars. We saw players last uh, last night getting like 35 stars in the match. I think we even got to like 38 or so, which is quite a lot for 30 minutes because the way these matches work, we got three matches, uh, we got 30 minutes each. Um, Winner gets some extra points of each match. It's a bit of a complicated scoring system, honestly. Uh, kind of messed up yesterday, so my bad on that. But uh, we got Dwarf here to keep me straight today. Phaser going for some Princess Secret Slide action. What's the plan here? Uh, uh, he looks like he hit the blue coin switch and got a ton of coins. So I'm, oh. He's probably going for 15 lives here. That would be the case. Getting some bonus coins going to be adding up that coin count. Every coin matters. He's well ahead of everyone in lives here. He's assuming he gets every life on the slide that you can get, he's going to be up to 12 after getting the star here. Now, Phaser has some pretty good game knowledge. I mean, runs a ton of categories you've probably never heard of. I mean, I've seen this dude running 100%. You know, I've seen this guy running MST, which I thought was an OOT category, but apparently uh, is a SM64 category. Not really sure about that, but... Seems to be yeah, the case. Yeah, that, that's that's a puzzling one to say the least. Yeah, I still don't even know what the like objectives are in MSP. I remember right, it's like all Bowser stage coins, all mini bosses, and then I forget what the last one is. Maybe all hundred coin stars. Yeah, so I think that Zaki or excuse me, Zach is definitely going for these three stars and. Uh, that says eight stages. Man, I have old man eyes. I thought that said six stages. That's a lot of stars to collect, but I can't think of any other reason to be getting that CCM hunter coin. Oh, there actually is one from three from six and three from eight on here, so maybe. Oh. I doubt they can get both, but three from six is definitely a lot more likely than three from eight. Yeah, but I mean, 24 stars isn't that many. Um, as long as you pick, you know, quick stars that aren't too crazy. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's definitely doable. It's just, you're gonna have to have a good route in your head. I'll be able to pull that one off. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I have no idea how seating was done, uh, dupe. Also, we just kinda like, swished everyone around <laughs> anyways because of scheduling conflicts, so... Uh, yeah, what you see is what you get. I mean, it is bingo, so it's not like you can really properly see people anyways. Uh, I think I think we did a pretty good job. I think these matches are pretty fair. We got some of the bingo juggernauts split up. We got some good players mixed in here or there. I think Dwarf did a pretty good job. Oh my gosh, Zach almost taking a massive knock from the Goomba, but manages to recover. Staying on top of Dark World. I think definitely one of these players is going to get the two Bowser stage red coin stars, but it's probably going to be, you know, a bit of a race to upstairs here. Let's see if you can grab that. Uh, let's see, what's, what's upstairs? We got 100 coin TTC, 100 coin and TCM. All stars and THI probably not going to be done. Um, red coin and wet dry world, pretty good one. Could go for all stars and TTC, has a lot of synergy with the 100 coin star and TTC as well. I guess. All-Stars and THI does work pretty well with Keep It Quick and THI, too. 
It's just That's true. You have to find a few stars before you can do Koopa. Yeah. THI sucks. I mean, I, I can't imagine being like, man, I really want to do THI Hunter Coin right now in this bingo. Yeah, that if you if you do, then you are probably mentally ill. Let's be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure that's 100% accurate, but possibly. I mean, could be a 99.6% accurate, I would, I would guess. Maybe just like some, uh, some large islands, some shell action. It's fair. I've seen people do weirder things in this game, you know, playing... I found out the world record holder in Randomizer plays with their entire hand, like, gripping the thumbstick. Like, they don't just, like, have their thumb on the thumbstick. Oh. They, like, use, like, they use, like, an arcade stick. And that kind of blew my mind. Oh, but Zach taking a death game myself. I am cringing with just the thought of that. What the hell? Yeah, I thought it was bad when people played with their, like, hand on the left prong, and they, like, reach all the way over to the control stick. But, yeah, it's, like, a complete other level. He said he also, like, hits the Z button with his right hand. Because he has his whole left hand is occupied by the control stick. Um... No comment. That, that just sounds <laughs> painful, really. Yeah, not I painful, I though. I do that and not die. We got Phaser keeping himself alive here in Dark World and approaching those 15 lives. And looks like he's got that 15th right there, so that's going to be a second task for him. Yeah, there you go. Taking the lead early. Got a lot left in this first round, though. I feel like some players just like take pride in playing with like the weirdest button combinations or like oh my gosh Benji oh, almost Benji. burning okay. his booty too much but stays alive nice triple bully kill there uh, but as I was saying there's there's an SMO runner that's pretty prominent in the community that literally every time he submits an avatar to a tournament he uses like his cursed button layout where he has like jump down to like a trigger and like just absolute madness I, I can't imagine how that even came any, about. Any sane person would know that's just, that's just, I don't even know what to call it. That's just, that's just cancerous. That sounds, that sounds painful. That drunken dwarf telling me to check my DMs, but in fact, I did not get a DM. Oh. <laughs> right, so Benji here did get quite a few stars in uh, an LL before going for the 100 coin thing. I'm pretty sure it was just to get the shell, which makes sense. I'm not too sure which would be faster with between doing the star shellless or getting the stars to get the shell and then doing the star. The, the normal way. Yeah, well, either way, he's got to get the stars to get MIPS, so might as well grab, true. grab them here if he's not planning on doing any more basement objectives. And I think it's fair to try to get to uh, Bowser and the Fire Sea as quickly as possible here. You get to get an extra um, box from that red point star. Um, and then also, you know, get upstairs faster, which, you know, secures you quite a bit of options. You can also get two Bowser stage red coins there, so I mean, Benji being the near world record level that he is, that shouldn't be much of a problem for him. Benji definitely knows how to do 100 coin with the uh, star here at the top of the Volcano. Has played a bit of Mario before. Phaser and Benji is kind of running away with this one so far. Uh, reminder to everybody at home that this is a best uh, two in the matchup advance, so whoever has the most points at the end of the three rounds is going to advance to the next stage of races. Um, but Zack and Yogo not doing themselves any favors here early, and there's not really too much they can do about it. I mean, there's not a whole lot of, like, gimme stars here. Um, you know, there's ones that you can kind of go for to just kind of secure some objectives, but they, they take quite some time. Like, you could go for 
you know, all stars and BOB and 100 point star and BOB, but then you're pretty much committing to that time sink. And I'm not really sure you want to do that. Normally I would agree with that, but on this card, since there is 4 BOB and CCM, you probably could get away with doing all BOB. Again, you can just do those CCM stars, which most of them aren't very, very slow at all, and that's three pretty easy tasks for you there, which at this point is, you really just want to take whatever you can get. Looks like Phaser is going to be going for that BOB 100. Opting for that extra box at the beginning, so chasing around some coins, but is able to get all three from the second box. Yeah, it looks like Benji not going to be the first one into Fire C. After all, those HMC stars are just too fast. There's a reason why they're in 16 and not LL 100 coin. Um, so it looks like unless anything goes traumatically wrong with Zach's red coins, he should be the first one to grab uh, that there. Finally nabbing the square here, 15 minutes in, almost halfway through the match. What a ground pound, I think Zach was maybe on pace for a uh, lava, lava boost cycle. Actually, maybe not. Now I'm seeing the elevator cycle. Could maybe still hit early alleys here, but I doubt it. Which might give Benji a chance to catch up here. Zach's yeah. Gonna need a You'd literally have to die. For Benji to get it, but. Or just burn his butt like five times. definitely be closer now, I think. Yep. <laughs> it looks a lot closer than it is. I mean, Benji still has to drop down here. Go grab another red. That's true, yeah. And then Zach has already marked it, so... <coughs> Zach getting on the board here about halfway through this first match. Looks like Yoga was also going for, for Fire C Reds. Probably also trying to get that objective, but not knowing, of course, that... I don't know, Zach has already beat him to it. Yeah, I mean, should know at this point. Could just bail. Uh, there's not much point to getting the star, I guess, yeah, unless he you want to... Red. Yeah. Benji's still grabbing it, though. I mean, if you're going for 12 secret stars, it's possible, but that's a lot of secret stars. Oh my goodness. Yoga, what are you doing, brother? <laughs> Falling all um... the way down on Fire Sea and getting locked underneath one of those inverted pyramids. Absolutely painful to watch. That's not what you like to see. Oh my goodness, a little bit flustered here now, re-entering into Fire Sea. Can't quite keep it together. Needs to take a little bit of a breather, maybe just a pause break. I'm not sure what's required here, but... Oh my goodness, we're burning again, and we're burning again. We're on one slice of pie. Oh boy. Absolutely. Right there. Chaos on the side of Yoga right now. Oh, and he locks himself again! Gonna be alive here for a split second, but it's very, very unlikely that he Please. will be able to get out of that, and that is not where you want to be. A double death to the inverted pyramids in Fire Sea. Absolutely brutal. Yogo C might just want to take a little bit of a break, like I said, maybe like a five minute breather in order to recuperate after that. That's too much carnage. The weird routing here from Phaser, he. I'm not sure maybe he didn't get the cannon, and I just I don't look like he opened the cannon, but he's gonna end up spawning the star in the air here. Never mind, actually, he is going back down to the Bob Reds Bob. area. But I he did, after having like 87 coins, going back to the to the island in the sky to get some more coins in the air. Well, I mean, if you're looking at the card right now, you're probably guessing that most people aren't going to be upstairs. I mean, you already see that Zack is done with Fire Sea, and I don't know if Yogo's going to make this. That's a third death in Fire Sea. Eesh. Not having a good time here is Yogo and Fire Sea. Yeah, no, it's not. But as I was saying, Phaser wrapping up a lot of these lobby objectives. So perhaps banking on his opponents just being upstairs, knowing Benji's up there for sure. Um, at this point, has the 100 coin star in TTC and probably gonna go for all stars in TTC, I'll assume. That'll make most sense. Spacer has gotten 4 in BOB and CCM. Not sure which stars he hasn't gotten in BOB, but it's not gonna be getting the rest of them for that objective. Um, you've already gotten more than half of the stars in the stage, which makes sense to me. 
uh, to get those last three, but they are, are kind of lengthy stars, though. Uh, this is not a rerun, this is live. We are no longer a 24-7 speedrun variety stream. If you see the red dot next to speedrun in the directory, that means we are here. There are real people behind the computer screens. It is not a ruse, it is not an illusion. So definitely come and check it out if you see us live. <clears throat> Here we go. Bomb's trying to undermine the commentators here. I have to get like some sort of verification process, perhaps, you know, have some like verification code I can like post with my face in the Discord. I'm not really sure of the process, but I'll figure something out. Are you a robot? Can we use some capture codes stat? Here we go. Like phaser laser here is going for uh Earth coins and BBH. Yeah. And at that point that's gonna be his 15 stars, so it'd probably make the most sense to maybe try to get some go to get the MIPS, go upstairs, maybe try to sweep something out. Yeah, you're um, being the last one to go upstairs in a lockout scenario can be kind of tricky to try to figure out what to do and that someone else isn't already doing. Yeah, I think the option right now, if you're either Phaser or Yogo, like I said before, is just stay in the lobby, stay downstairs, don't even bother with upstairs at this point. You don't have to beat Bowser in lockout bingo. So, oh, Benji going for the moving reds, absolutely flexing Whoa. on the gamers here. Oh. God gamer strats, Benji. Showing him those stuff. One at that. Yeah, that was hot. Don't already follow Benji or any of these other racers. Please go check them out. Their links are in the chat. All very worthy of your follows. All hot contenders in this tournament. Looks like we're going for 100 coin star in SSL here. Yogo has the win cap, right? Or is this going to be. I, yeah, I think he, he wanted to go to BBH initially and saw that Phaser already got the red coin star, so I think after that he exited and then went right to a win cap, so... Oh my god! <laughs> In the quicksand, I'm scared, oh. Yogo. I mean, I normally wouldn't be that terrified from that, but after those three deaths in Fire C, I didn't see what was going on on Benji's screen, but I'm assuming he had some insane TTC movement. Judging from Dwarf's reaction in the chat room. Either way, wrapping up TTC, getting all the stars in there as well as the 100 coin. Nice synergy there. Putting some stuff on the board. Meanwhile, uh, Zach claiming that three stars from six stages like we were talking about earlier. Uh, went Started going for that pretty early on. And I'm assuming we're going to go for eight at this point. Um, two more stages. Get three more stars. Going to be a bit tight. Have to see. What are we going for here? I'm a bit confused. Maybe trying to go for all in THI? Well, That's he... the only reason to be doing 100 coin right what, now. What is he doing? <laughs> okay, we're doing 100 coin. Got it. I, I was looking a little bit all over the place. I was confused. Maybe he was just like making decisions in between stars. It does happen in bingo. Sometimes you're going for one objective and then your Ooh. brain recalculates to another one. <laughs> just getting bodied by these big goombas here. I had a chance for a double kill and just getting completely murdered. As Benji's looks like he's gonna go for a hundred coin TTM. Yeah, no one else in the area, so again, this will probably be his for the taking. But it's looking. At this point, to me, that Phaser is going to come out with a win in this first round. Yeah, just keeps ra <clears throat> keeps racking up the points, going for the Vanish Cap now. Looks like the prediction in the chat is correct. We probably will be going for that uh, Collect the Caps in DDD, which shouldn't take too long. Definitely has plenty of time for that one. Looks like we will definitely be getting on the board here on the side of Yogo. As long as I didn't just curse him, could possibly take a death in the quicksand, but... I'm sure Yogo is going to play it safe here. And that'd be truly unfortunate if that did somehow happen. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh my don't goodness. Get the, don't get the star. Okay. 
What are we doing? <laughs> All right. Uh, just yo go. Playing in the pyramid at this point. Panicking a bit, but it's okay. We just got to collect these coins here. And we will be good. Need a few more in addition, but these blue coins will help out a lot. All right, seven more coins. That's a lot of Goombas. I don't think you got any of the last row of five that's next to the Secret Star, so you can get two Goombas here and then you're gonna have to uh, probably end up spawning the star on top of that uh, monkey bar area. Yeah, there's just, a full. I'm with a Chuck yet here. There's a full circle of coins up there. It is a bit awkward, but it's not that huge of a deal. Okay, getting rolled over, getting squashed. Yo go on a hunt for coins. Actually, okay, I didn't realize he didn't get those. Yeah, those will be his last four. Gets himself on the board 24 minutes in here. Yeah, a bit rough. Oh my goodness, Zach taking a spill here on THI. Unfortunate. I have to re-enter there. Not sure if we're going to have enough time at this point. Actually, yeah, we definitely have enough time to get all stars. Yeah. That's what he's going for. What yeah, if Benji just have this and then I totally missed what Benji just, just has this click left. And I'm guessing Benji's gonna go for all stars in SL now. Yogo's going for, I presume, six in SSL. Giving Perilous a try here. He gets the big bomb. Looks like he's got it, and he's getting the ground pound. Nice plus there from Yogo. Very nice going for secrets here. Trying to get all the stars in SSL. I'm not sure if we're going to see that happen. We've seen some spills, some problems with Yogo's gameplay. Going to have to be playing. Assuming he's only going to get here. six. Uh, if it were me, I'd probably skip Reds here. Yeah, Reds is a pretty crap star. It's very easy to yeah, die it on. Can be, yeah, it can be very scary in several places throughout. There's a lot of, like, traversing over the absolute death sand that you can't even touch at all. Not a good time. It goes for a second plus attempt here. Looking good again. Just seems to get this last ground pound. Oh, and barely missing the hole. Not dying, though. <sighs> Able to get his way over to the maze area. And now it's going to go for reds. Yeah, Zach pulling back into this one though. Benji unable to really get much more on the board, and Zach is caught up. Has five boxes to Benji's five. What's Benji going for here? Uh, I thought he was gonna go for all nice. So oh, he does need vanish cap for that though. Wait, he needs vanish cap for what? For all in Snowman's Land. Oh, gotcha. I saw him not in SL and I was very confused, but then, yeah, that would explain it. Yeah, three minutes to get the Vanish Cap and then all the way back up to, to SL and get the star in the Inglou is yeah. probably not going to happen. Yeah, I'd be, I'd be shocked. These are having some trouble with front sub here. Oh, we got it. Okay. Very nice. Oh, but can't get the red coin. Rough. Oh, almost taking a spell there. I mean, we were struggling with, or excuse me, Zach struggling with these BLJs. Does end up getting them eventually, but. Very Going little for, time here. 
Going for the Trivulgeon Wall Kick Tech Skip there, even though there's no star to skip the text with. Uh, so I'm not too sure how many stars Benji has left in Snowman's here. Apparently Shad is thinking he only has Igloo, which in which case it's not going to take long at all. Going in the wrong door. <laughs> Yogo, getting that second square, getting six stars in SSL, you love to see it. Not getting completely uh, locked out of the lockdown thing, though. He had stars five and six left. I'm not sure which those are. I know one of them is probably Igloo, and then... Hmm. I used to in course for some reason here. Oh, 100 coin, too, that's right. So yeah, no way he could be able to get that in time. And then just head up a tippy here. I'm not too sure what else he could be going for. Perhaps just some swag trying to go through uh, uh, Bowser and this guy here. That'd be my my call. Yeah, there's nothing else he could really realistically get here in this last 40 seconds. Except for maybe some swag points. No, this is not a live match. I don't know what you're talking about. We're not here. Everybody hide. Nobody talk in the chat. Keep quiet. Somebody type Onyx. Oh, it's... Benji gets a really nice test long jump there. Yeah, very cool. Alright, but it looks like we're gonna have some waiters. We have, in fact, wrapped up the first round of this... I want to say best of three all the time, but it's not a best of three. It's simply three rounds here. Each match is three rounds. Maybe talent up the points, make sure I did everything right. Looks like we got seven for Phaser. We got five for Benji and Zack, and two for Yogo. So I do know how to count. Very cool. Phaser marked me off 580 either. Yeah, there's no way that was in time. It is going to be seven. Still getting a. With a bonus, still getting 10 points in that first match, so... Really good start there for Phaser. Gonna be giving himself a, uh... I believe a three-point lead in the round two. Wait, what? I'm confused. I thought Phaser already had seven points, like, a while ago. No, he did, but then he marked off what would have been eight, but it wasn't anywhere near in, the, in time. Oh, okay, got so he initially it. marked off 580 and then realized it wasn't in time and included it right away. Okay, okay, I, would, I, would, I couldn't, I didn't, I didn't see that. Alright, uh, I'm giving Benji and Zach both two points for this round. Dwarf, please tell me if that's wrong, but that's what I did yesterday. And I also did a lot of stuff wrong yesterday, so hopefully Dwarf is here. Uh, otherwise, we're going to get another card loaded up here and get the racers ready for round two. Everybody be quiet. Production team a little bit confused on their own rules. We're gonna have to do a little bit of deliberating here. Figure things out.
All right, looks like we have the points right on the screen. Very cool and epic. It's good stuff. All right, everybody is ready. We'll get things synced up here and prepared. Got some game audio. There we go. The Binny Anthem coming in clearly. Love to hear it. Mario. Hello. We're pretty well synced up here. We got to restart the streams, but that's okay. We'll just be a little bit behind the cards, so we'll get spoiled a little bit, but that's the way it goes. Stream delay exists. In a perfect world, everyone would live within five miles of each other and we could all meet up and play Mario on the weekends, but sadly that's not reality. But the internet is a series of tubes that works pretty well. Can do some pretty good stuff here. Be pretty cool. It'd be even cooler if his timer was working properly. Oh my god. I don't know what you're talking about. Timer's going. Pro commentator just making stuff up. I believe that uh, Rushimer here is just a dirty liar. Uh, well, now it's just okay. Well, maybe not anymore. Yeah, see, look, it's been on the whole time. I'm pretty sure you're just a really good fixer upper person. <clears throat> I, don't, I don't know, man. I'm gonna see to watch some Mario. We had a we had a new restreamer on Speedrun 2 yesterday for the Defeat Ganon OOT tournament, and we couldn't figure out the timer for the first match, so we just counted in the chat and uh, kept time that way. It's pretty efficient, pretty accurate. Yeah, exactly, Vita. When the restreamer fails, just count on the chat, but... I'm counting on Joey to be looking at the card, because I definitely wasn't. Joey, did you look at the card yet? I have not at all. <laughs> okay, perfect. Um, looks yeah, like... Yeah, very professional stream here. Looks like there's some objectives that can be... You know, taken here. Um, not a lot of stuff. One twenty coins at one stage. One twenty coins at one stage. One thirty coins at one stage. Ooh. So some really good synergy there can be taken out within seconds of each other. Um, someone will probably end up losing Mario's hat at some point, I would imagine, and then three Bowser stage reds could be gotten as well. Uh, twenty lives. Someone will probably get that eventually. Character races. That one might be doable. It'll be pretty tight, depending on what else they're going for. Yeah, again, not too much stuff in lobby here. <clears throat> so I would assume at least one of these runners will be going for the 130 coin, which will get 120 in the process. Benji starts his 100 coin here. We'll see if it actually is a 130 in a moment here. I'm trying to use my brain to see why we want to kill a bomb. Team. The clip through the fence! Oh! That's not usual. Uh, that is definitely. Oh, he is able to make it. <laughs> He's able to get back to the water though, so he doesn't die. That is definitely something you don't see every day. It's not entirely uncommon or unheard of, but definitely, uh, definitely uncommon. I take my words back. That's something I've only seen a couple of times before, at least live. It makes you, it makes you did kill one Womp, so he probably is going to be going for the, uh, 130 here, but if he's only got one Womp, then he need, he need to go back for that, uh, Bacchus near the Wild Blue area. Yogo is going for it as well, and he is very slightly behind him in coins, behind Benji, that is. Yeah, Benji has 100 coins, but collecting that star, gonna lose a little bit of time there. Yogo, though, getting squashed by the Womp twice! Don't get tailed oh. by a small Womp, please! Just take the, take the easy path. Oh my goodness. That was terrifying. That was a little monk up. 
Yeah, and that slight lead that Yogo had is now completely gone. Unfortunate. 120 collected for Benji there. Let me go ahead and mark that square real quick before moving on. Just needs eight more coins. Bucky's going for his oh. last womp here. Oh. Oh, but Yogo beat him to it? Apparently. Huh. Um, doubt. I, yeah, I'm pretty sure Benji got that one. Yeah, very doubtful. Um, let me let me make sure the sink is proper. Okay, Benji just kind of standing still here, perhaps a little bit confused. Perhaps we can get that Drunken Dwarf on the case, but to me it looks like the sink is good and it looks like Yogo got that quite a bit uh, later than Benji. Yeah, I'm, pr it's, I'm sure it's pretty safe to assume that Benji did beat Yogo into that 130 there, so that's going to give him a two-point advantage over the rest of the field here. Yeah, even saying in the chat, yeah, no let me know if yeah. I should unmark, so I think he knew it too. So, I'm just going to go ahead and give the points to Benji, even though the card doesn't represent that yet. Oh, that's that's big brain. I did not realize that uh, you had to do that for Mario Wings to the Sky. Zach is having a little fun with uh, his playing with the baby penguin in front of her own mother. Uh, perhaps uh, some edict charges will be getting thrown their way. Yeah, I don't think I can change anything, Hala. I don't think that's a thing. I'm not exactly a bingo sync expert, so... Pazer saying in the restream chat that he just gave up after the 120 was marked because he didn't realize that there was a 130. A little bit of a sad moment there, but going for some red coins here in JRB. Should be a free square here unless he somehow manages to drown or run into a clam too much or something else incredibly scary and cursed, but so far looking good. Yeah, no, I'm a spectator. Can't do anything. I'm just a lowly spectator. I'm just here to watch. I might be able to handle this. Where's Bingo Sinkling? Looks like Benji is going to be collecting some stars here in Wasp Fortress. What is the goal, though? I'm not sure. Brain is too small. Nice being stars that get the basement. That is possible. We've already got the 100 coin stars. No real reason to go to CCM. Yep, doing a triple jump up to a Dark World. Good call. Alright, so I'm actually going to try to make myself red and mark the square myself, but it's still going to be a little bit of green there remaining. Oh wait, no, it's lockout, so I can't select the thing. Never mind. My plan has been foiled. So we can't do anything to fix that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Yogo will just unmark it here. Nah, it's not that complicated. We'll just have Yogo switch it, and then it'll be. Oh, all actually, Hollow Pinecone, you're a genius. I don't know why I didn't think of that. 
Okay, yeah, I'm gonna do that actually this time. One mark, boom, boom. It has been fixed. Wow. Hog champ. Galaxy brain shatters. I'm not seeing a ton of stuff in the basement or really anything in the basement at all so it's definitely going to be a race upstairs here there's quite a bit i mean you can go for four stars and ssl and hmc but like really not a great option um upstairs has quite a, mu a lot more going for it um, other than ddd five stars six stars and ssl i mean these are really long objectives that you just might want to skip over honestly like, Price is going to be going for lives again here. There is 20 and 25 on this card, so we'll be able to get a twofer here. What if, is there any reason to get Vanish Cap here? Uh, two Cap Stage Stars. Ah, so it might, might end up and going maybe to And maybe 100 coin SL as well. Maybe, maybe just doing the slide twice here and then going to Vanish Cap might be the option. We'll have to see what he chooses to do. Benji just seeming to go for Princess, Peach, Pe Princess Peach's slide for stars, which is an interesting option. Um, I don't that. see secret stars anywhere in this card, so I don't know why he would want to go for that. If you already have just trying to get stars, maybe trying to get stars quickly for wing cap, which is what they're doing here, it looks oh, like. Yeah, yeah. Probably going to go for the cap stages then as well. Oh yeah, it looks like uh, Zack might actually be sniping Phaser here on the lives. Already in a Vanish Cap stage, collecting a lot of lives here very, very quickly. And just collect these three lives and then hurry up and take a death. Rinse and repeat, already at 19. Don't think there's any way for Phaser to make up that gap. But at least collecting some stars here. It's gotta know at this point that, uh oh, uh, I gotta do something else. Going into Dark World. Could have been the plan already, honestly. I just saw Benji just quit out of BOB for whatever reason. Not too sure what's going on with that. Didn't exactly see if he made a mistake or what. What happened there? Didn't open the cannon according to chat. Yeah, that would be. Pretty unfortunate. He's just bailing on the idea completely. Heading into HMC now. I would guess you get four from there and as well as SSL. I mean, Zach losing quite a bit of time on those live farming, but does mark two squares off, which is a big deal. I mean, tied with Benji right now. Not sure what the objective is after Vanish Cap. Just gonna leave. Kind of surprised at that. I mean, two Cap Stage uh, stars is there. Definitely. I guess maybe if you're not comfortable with Vanish Cap. I guess maybe, but if you can do... If you can do that, and then you can also take care of Hunting Coin, Star, and SL, but either way, Benji is going to mark it off here with getting Metal Cap. So, making what I said completely irrelevant. I wish there was more reason to use the metal cap in speedrunning so you could hear the metal cap jam more often. Unfortunately, it's only really used in this level. Yeah, very unfortunate. Of course, the best music in the game just has to go to the most useless piece of garbage in the game. <laughs> Let's do it in single star and in JRB, then it's just insane. Yoko, I think he made the same mistake that Benji did in B.O.B. Not realizing after do King Bomb Bomb to open the cannon. Oh, he already did King Bomb Bomb because he didn't open it. <laughs> Starting the Koopa race, a mistake there. Well, talking to him at least, and that can start the race. 
Yeah, I just wanted to have a little chat with the, the Koopa there. Leave him hanging, unfortunately. Oh, and Zack taking a death on a plus. Not what you want to see. Interesting to see Zack going for stars here in SSL. Um, particularly, you know, these difficult stars. I mean, you could go for all stars in SSL, but... Really long. Well, there's the three, or four, excuse me, in SSL and HMC. So there's some synergy there, but it's just a really long grind for two squares. Giogo missing a top secret. I think he started Ooh. holding up on the stick a little too early. No. Oh, I'm missing it high this time. Do you have enough speed to make it back around? No! no Yogo! Yogo! He can't get it now. There's no yeah, way. He's gonna have to shoot again, I'm pretty sure. Oh, man, that was brutal. Yogo just having these back to back cat catastrophes. I hate to see it. Does have three points, though. Does end up getting the star here. with a quick slap to Toad's dome there. Sag. Pretty, pretty unfortunate as we got some got some attempts to ban the restreamer from the speedrun chat. Very unfortunate here. Some hate being thrown um, really for no reason from what I can see here. Yeah, kind of a theme. I mean, yesterday I was getting bullied. Now I'm getting bullied again today. I mean, I thought I was, you know, trying to help out the community here, starting some streams, but I mean, I guess everybody just wants me to go, so might as well just end the stream here. Thanks, uh, Duke, for all that. I did not say catastrophe. What do you mean? You're hearing things. Maybe I'm just slurring my words. That happens. And looks like Zach is trying to get his hat stolen here by Klepto. And he already marked it off, so this did some work eventually. Yeah, he just had to hold still. I don't know why he was just trying to provoke Klepto to attack. Benji tries to get a medium bomb plus and he's got it. Medium bomb Tama, I didn't see him do Tama, I guess I saw him do Ender Pillow was there. Not gonna lie, I was looking at the scorecards. Kinda of, kind of the downside to uh, commentating and restreaming at the same time is you have to do a lot of stuff and can't really pay attention too much, especially when there's four screens. Um, so if anybody in the chat is interested in becoming a commentator on the channel, do check out the exclamation point volunteer form. Type that in the chat and you will be able to Show some interest, we'll get you in for an interview of sorts, and potentially get you on the stream if you're qualified. Um, we are desperate, so <laughs> not gonna beat around the bush. Uh, we probably will accept you as long as your microphone doesn't sound like you're inside of an airplane. Um, rather inside of an airplane engine. One thing to m note for Zach right now is he's not got his cap on, which you know netted him a square, but he also takes double damage. And uh, we've seen players taking some pretty monk ass deaths from the damage. Luckily, Yogo is not the one with the cap missing, but uh, also losing that time as well to having to search for the cap at the end of each stage, which is a little bit negative. Ooh, I don't know if that was an intentional reentry. Seems a bit scuffed. Okay, now it does seem like we do have a goal in mind. Oh, nope, that is- the goal is death. The yeah, goal is death. That goal is to die, <laughs> yeah. Rip. Unfortunately, the suicidal side of Zag is coming out right now. It's uh, very important to see, but, you know, whatever you gotta do for the speedrun. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm not going to lie. I mean, you know, especially sitting, you know, at home in the chat or here in the restream booth, it's really easy to look at the card and be like, oh man, they should do this and this and this. And like after that, they should do this. But then you're in the game and you're like trying to go fast while thinking and like reading 800 squares at the same time. It's like very easy to miss you know, small details or potential opportunities. That is true. Not knowing what the other runners are going for does add a different aspect to the bingo game. Only got 10 more minutes remaining here. We got uh, currently Benji sitting at 4 for this matchup. We got 3 on the side of Zach and then Phaser and Yogo both struggling in this match. You know, Phaser really pulling out ahead in the first round, but. In this second matchup, it looks like he's having a bit of difficulties here trying to find the correct routing. Ooh, Phaser going for that front sub, not quite connecting. Too far in the middle, you cannot jump all the way up there. Mario just unable to do so. Don't blame him. I don't know if you ever try to jump out of water, but uh, yeah, it doesn't quite work in real life. Yeah, one thing being brought up in chat here, um, not too sure if Benji did get four stars in HMC outside of Metal Cap, because that does not count as an HMC star, it counts as a secret star. Uh oh. So, I'm not too sure if he got four actual HMC stars outside of Metal Cap. And we have word that he did get them, so we'll, oh. we'll go with that, I oh. guess. Okay. Just getting ready to, to track points there, but we're, we're good then. You can always get Ace, uh, Rule, Knowledger, and also uh, Retimer, Drunken Dwarf on the case. Let's say HMC 100 from Benji here. It's a bit of a difficult star, uh, but at this point, I mean, you're running out of squares. It's not a bad option. Yeah, taking a fall there, unfortunate. But Benji's ran yeah, some 120 four. stars. Should know some backups here. Four on HMC was already on here. I'm not too sure why he wouldn't have gotten this as one of those four, but... As long as he just doesn't have a major meltdown here, it should still be his for the taking, and then... I was thinking maybe you could get a tippy to do 6 in the RR, but that's probably not going to be the case here. Don't think he's had enough time after this. Yeah, I'd say the wet dry world point, or the wet dry world start, excuse me, is probably on Yogo's radar right now. It seems like the easiest upstairs goal. All the other ones upstairs probably. seem a bit difficult. I mean, 100 point start in SSL, a long time. It looks like we are, in fact, entering at high water mark. Gonna be going for that red point star. Missed Phaser Laser getting that 4 stars in JRB and DDD, but did in fact finish that, so we'll get up to 12 here. But not going to be making much in terms of bonus points, probably, in this round, unless he can edge out Zack, who's now entering Rainbow Ride. What's the play here for Phaser? He's re-entering, he's going into DDD. Getting more stars. DDD, yeah. Yes. True. I would assume that Zag is going to go for a 6 in RR. Not for a good start, missing lack of 2 bounds. I'm going to go for a new cruising movement with several firsties on his way up there. Very smooth. Yeah, it doesn't need that 100 coin star, but that's still a lot of stars to collect in Rainbow Ride. It's a difficult stage. We'll have to see if he can manage that. Yeah, uh, we saw this yesterday. I'm pretty sure a runner... Uh, they go for 6 in the RR and it was, uh, they opted to go for the 100 coin with the cannon star and skipping the carpet altogether. Maybe something 
to consider for Zach here. Benji finishes up his HMC Honor coin. Um, as for Benji, not really too sure what else he could do here. Um, he Basil? could maybe make a rush, a rush for three Bowser stage coins, but that probably won't work out for him because Zach is on his way up there. Bazer's doing the pole right now. He's doing some pole movement. <laughs> wow. I think it was an accident, uh, judging from the banned message, because he typed some no-no words in the Discord. Uh, looking at it, says he uh, blank forgot reds. Um, so yeah, not intentional, but I mean, won't see him struggling on front sub. It just takes a long time to do this with the poles. He's wanting to bring out his uh, inner uh, professional dancer, perhaps. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's just to still be his task for taking. Zack is in the bits here, I'd assume, going for the th third Bowser Stage Red Coin Star. Guessing no, Benji's. No. Going for three stars from six stages? Maybe that wouldn't be a bad wouldn't be a bad choice at all. Yeah, he's still got five minutes. Oh, looking like it's pretty close to triggering the wind there, but getting the the frame perfect uh, release of the penguin there. Yeah, Yogo's got, unfortunately, very little chance of advancing out of this entirety of this match. Uh, at the end of the best of three, or not really best of three, three matches. Oh my gosh! That was the most painful death I've seen from Yogo. Actually, no, that's a lie. Uh, just fire seed deaths were equally painful. He's had some painful. painful ones today, yeah. Yeah, Yogo's just not finding the stride, unfortunately. And as I was saying, the top two points overall at the end of the three matches will advance to the next round. And it looks like Yogo's just gonna give up. I don't know what we're gonna go for instead, but. You will have to see. Maybe going for BBH 100 coin. Benji looks like he's just going to be having some fun here. Yeah, showing off some pretty quick movement, you know. It's interesting to see, you know, the diversion from, like, how runners, how fast runners can go when they know exactly what they're wanting to do, and the difference between that and, like, Bingo or Randomizer, where you're kind of playing on the fly, you got to make decisions uh, on what movement you're going to do. You know, you don't have a pre-programmed thing in your head that you're going for. You can kind of see that coming out. Every time Benji goes for a star that's just like already programmed, he's just flying through. Checking those stars. So, confirming that we are going for at least three stars in six stages. Phaser getting bopped by ghosts here in DBH. It's looking like Phaser is also on his way to uh, doing BBH 100, so can maybe snipe Yogo as Yogo takes a quick factory. That's gonna uh, maybe cost him this task here. Yeah, that's rough. Yogo just cannot catch a break. It's very unfortunate. But we can't, you know, put him down too much. He came all the way out of the qualifiers, which was a tough battle. Um, had a lot of qualifiers surprisingly upsetting here in the main tournament bracket, but Yogo unable to, you know, collect enough points here, and I think statistically it's pretty much impossible, unless he just completely dominates the board next match, um, and just yeah, snipes literally everyone's tasks. Get your fanfics in the chat, how do you want to see Yogo come back? What is the path to victory?
Yeah, there's definitely a lot of top competitors in this tournament. Um, you know, GSA popping in for another SM64 tournament. Everybody getting a bit hyped. Gamers that haven't played bingo in their life uh, stopping in for some bingo action. It's good to see. Phaser grabbing that 100 point in BBH here shortly. It also mark four in JRB DDD. Not too sure if that's correct. Although I didn't really pay attention to what stars he's gotten, so that might be correct <laughs> still. I would just, I, unless you know, I would just trust it. I mean. Okay, we have confirmation <laughs> from Packer that it is correct. De definitely not worth it to try to, like, discredit someone's. I'm not, try I'm not trying to, like, actually do anything <laughs> to hinder his credibility. I just wasn't sure. Zach looked like he was making a last ditch effort to try to get this SL 100 coin, but it's gonna run out of the time here. Yep, that will be the conclusion. No more squares can be marked. Let's see who got the bonus points in this round. We got Benji with six, going to be taking first and the three points. We got uh, Zach with uh, five, going to be taking the two points, and Phaser taking one with the four. So let me make sure that I got all these tallies I correct like first. Benji was, well, Benji was one star short of getting the three from six. I believe heading into BBA, she had three from five, and then just got two of them before time expired in the second round. All right, Dwarf making it very easy for my peanut brain. I just have to type in the numbers. I like it. Thank you, Dwarf. This is what I like to see. And we can get all the racers ready, possibly, for the next one. So a two-point separation between first and third here, so Yogo looks like he's unfortunately not going to be able to make the top two here. As again, some insane miracle happens here, but it's going to be... A good race for this third round between Benji, Zach, and, and Phaser. Kind of manga assing over Benji's audio right now. I hope that. Yeah, that was a little confusing. Hold on, let me see if I can get these running a little bit more smoothly. I'm not sure why these audio pops are happening. That is not something we want. Unless that is something we want? I don't know. You know hearing the same music in the files like screen can get pretty repetitive, so having some a a mild remix. remix in there can really <laughs> Help the help the variety a bit. Alright, that seemed to fix Yogos. Let's see if Benji's is all good. Alright, turns out I was overthinking it and none of that even mattered, but we are probably ready here to get into the next one. As long as my computer doesn't have a heart attack, which is quite possible. Right, and we should be getting into it here. 
Claus Champ. Go ahead and reveal the card for you in advance so we can actually get prepared for this one. Uh, commentary team going to do All our right. best to use our brains. Okay, 100 coin in WAM, so it should be taken pretty, pretty quickly. Again, more synergy in WAMs already. 131 coins, one stage. 140 coins, one stage. So pretty similar to the last card, just slightly more coins. And then it's possible that someone could get the 100 coin star and get both all of those objectives. But I mean, I would be surprised if that actually happened, to be honest. Um, Oops. Beyond that, again, it's probably just going to be a rush to basement and upstairs. I messed everything uh, two up. Two caps, eight stars would be a, <laughs> a, quick, a quick one, I think. Um, someone probably take, could take care of 300 coin stars, that probably being Womps, SSL, and TTC, maybe? And they can get four objectives taken out there. Yeah, a lot of 100 coins in this card. Alright. Sink, not too scuffed, very cool. Sometimes it takes some time, especially if you know, we got some stream desync going on, but I've figured it out. This is the last round of the day, the last match of the day, the only match of the day. So buckle in. Going to see the throwing conclusion here. Really a battle between the top three here. Yogo, unfortunately, unable to really get enough points here, likely to uh, you know qualify for the next round, but. Gonna put up a fight anyways, you gotta hand him some credit. Um, gonna go ahead and plug the racers once more in the chat room. If you don't already follow all these gamers, go check them out. Lots of gamers on the grind here in the Mario 64 community, and... It's part of the fun about these community tournaments, is you get to, you know, see a lot of different players you might not have had a chance to, you know, get together with in the past. Meet some new gamers, and the nice backflip bomb clip from Benji. Very Love nice. Patriot, the only one out in this group here to, to miss bomb clip uh, might cost him a couple objectives here because there are some that can be taken care of pretty quickly. Not getting the right angle to be able to clip into the bar through the bars here. Often the pound of the pole, it's gonna be the last one in the wands, and then I'm guessing three objectives are probably gonna fall in the next couple minutes here. Zach's not opting to go for the 100 coins, so he's not going to take care of that, and then see maybe if, Yo uh, if Benji goes for the 140, did not get the box, so probably won't be going for it. Yogo is getting some extra coins at the beginning here, so he's, he's going to go for 140. Ooh, actually Benji is getting the Womp though. I'm not sure if he got 5 there, he might have only gotten 4 before the ground pound. You go pretty fast and didn't really get a chance to count properly. Uh, but if he's doing 140, we'll have to go back to that box. That's by Wild Blue. Yeah, Phaser's got to know he's behind here. There's no way he possibly thinks he's going to get this first. I mean, I, I'd be shocked. Unless maybe he thinks that other players, you know, aren't going for it, but... Got two players gunning for it. Looks like Benji is going to be the one to successfully grab it. <laughs> Getting uh, flipped <laughs> by the Womp mid star cutscene is very interesting. That's something I've seen okay, before. Okay, I'm pretty sure, again, that um, Yogo did mark Hunter Coin Star, but there's no question that Benji got that one first, assuming the streams were synced. Uh, they're not perfectly so. synced, but yeah, that's probably the case. Yeah, I might have Dwarf looking at that one again. I'll I'll leave it put for now, but I'm pretty sure Benji got that one first. Yeah, it's very hard to imagine a universe where that's not the case, honestly. And then Yoga Mark the 132, but I'm pretty sure that's also Benji's task. Yeah, I don't I don't know, Yogo, Yogo, come on. You gotta mark these on time. You're making a difficult task for our gamer drunken dwarf.
You go marked 140 as well, but he might actually get get the 140, but definitely did not get Bomb's 100 coin. Pretty questionable on the 130. Where is this last coin here for Benji? Is the question. No, oh, actually, I actually do think that Yogo did mark the 140. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Yogo did get 140. I'm not too sure where Benji's missed coins. Yeah, he's just giving up on that now, but... Yeah, I'm not too sure if Yogo actually got all three of those tasks. Pretty questionable. Yeah, we'll have to get Drunken Dwarf on it. Uh, not gonna make a call here on the stream, but uh, we will look into it. Looks like Dwarf might be taking a nap, Monk S. So what other uh, objectives are we going for here? Um, outside um, of those points. We got both um, Zach and Phaser collecting stars in L or uh, CCM right now. I'm not too sure what they could be going for. Yeah, Hala. I mean, the way I would optimally think, like after doing these races, I think we should almost have like people in charge of running the bingo card and just have the players playing the card. Um, that would solve the whole like sync with the stream issue and it would also solve the issue of players marking early or late. But hard to say what we're gonna do. It's just my initial thoughts. The only issue with that is uh, the fact that we have a hard enough time getting commentators. Uh, so having, you know, people on hand in order to watch the gameplay with a fine-tooth comb is going to be a little bit difficult. But we will we will make that decision as it comes our way. Oh man, Zach taking an unfortunate death there in Dark World. Ah. Let's have quite a bit of a lead here going into basement though, so it's not too big a deal, it's not the end of the world. It's a yoga wake the owl there. I am personally uh, very salty now. Very unfortunate to see the owl just, just trying to sleep, man. He's trying to get ready for his... Uh, for his night at work, and then everyone just comes in and it just destroys his, his sleep schedule. Might cost him his job, unfortunately. Never know what's gonna happen in that scenario. Not a lot on the board outside of those coin stars in Lost Fortress. What do you think uh, Phaser's working on here in BOB? Probably form BOB and CCM, I would guess. That's the only thing I can ah, see. Yeah. Very true. Gonna be collecting some stars here, and Benji taking an uncharacteristic death in Ooh. Dark World. Meanwhile, Zach wrapping up the Bowser fight. Gonna be the first into the basement. What are we looking at here Yogo. in the basement? Yogo units away from his long jumping right off the side of of the uh, corridor there in Dark World. I mean, that'd be like par for the course today. You'll go in Bowser stages. It's just been like one monk ass moment after the other. For sure.
Zag is gonna be the first one here to uh, head into basement. We'll be heading right for SSL. Um, maybe going for the hundred coin here, but would need wing cap to do that. So not too sure what he could be going for here besides that. If he goes wing cap later. Phaser clipping through the fence of that bomb on there. Very cool tech. Something you don't see super often. Oh my goodness! Absolute monster. Phaser laser cannot be stopped. The side flip, wall kick, combinations, the poverty, the poverty island, hop. island hop. Nice. Yeah, phaser laser is a beast. Trying to do wing capless. I would assume bomb uh, without the cannon as well. It's not doing bomb king. Uh, just doing reds. Just uh, with a uh, without any good resource sources at all. All right, commentators once again com com completely causing a dilemma of their own design. Uh, perhaps just trying to build up the hype, but Yogo just running away with this one apparently. Uh, commentary booth just trying to keep him down. Yes. The Phaser Laser support coming out in the chat. Team Phaser Laser has gotten a lot of support from the chat room so far in this match. I've not seen any cheers for Benji, for Zach, or Yogo, but Phaser Laser having an absolute cheerleading squad right now and going for another Poverty Island top here. Nice lineup. Doesn't have to be too precise. Very nice. Interesting routing here from Phaser. But we'll get on the board. But at what cost? Yeah, I mean, There's a lot of investment there for one square. I was trying to get as much done as he can without getting the wing cap, but I mean, it, it makes sense if you just want to get stuff done as soon as possible, but I, I'm not too sure if that's really worth the trade-off, but is it able to get on the board here? Uh, no, Hollow, we had Dwarf examine that one as well, and Yogo was uh, correct in the, uh, or excuse me, was uh, marked the box early, essentially. Either marked, marked the box early or didn't get the objective early. Not sure which one it is. Here we go. Yeah, I'm definitely personally of the opinion that if we could possibly have like a bingo card officiator, that would be like the absolute best solution. Oh my goodness! Oh, phaser. Yeah, that was a painful death to see. Phaser Laser unable to keep it together there in the Dark World. Taking a spill. You hate to see it. I'm gonna go for reds this time, it looks like. Hmm. Interesting decision there. Yep. As we got some splicing from Phaser. Yeah, I mean, with such an immaculate early game, I mean, you can't really expect him to. Oh, are we going to get the jumps? No. Unfortunate. And for anybody in the chat room who might have been filing in here shortly uh, before this, this is Lockout Bingo. This is not regular bingo, so we're not trying to line up five squares. We are, in fact, just trying to get as many objectives as possible. Fill up the board with your color. Um, it's the best of three matches. Whoever has the most points at the end of the three matches will advance to the next round. Uh, the top two, rather. So, we got two players from this match advancing to the, I guess we can call them semifinals. But these tournaments do go quick. I mean, the matches are long, but as far as the amount of rounds, there's only like three or so rounds, I think, in the main bracket. Which uh, for that's a correct. Yeah, for a 16-person bracket, that's pretty quick. So Yogo desperately trying to get the punch grab on Mips, but just not quite getting the timing down. Oh. Benji pausing and then deciding to get the Mips star. Perhaps. Probably doing uh, an Ivan. Benji <laughs> trying to take off without Mips before doing the clip. Yeah, I can't even theorycraft what was going on there. That's way too out of my IQ uh, zone. I was just... A mental gap, to say the least. Yeah, yeah. 
Not quite getting the right angle for the Gucci wall kick hips clip there, but is able to get the traditional back clip method. Gucci is heading that lane to DDD halfway through this final final match here. So like Benji is gonna be setting up for a front sub here. Wait, what do you mean one dude, dupe? That's pretty much all I've seen in the chat in the last five minutes. Is how handsome Dwarf is, how good he is at the game. Big brain he is. It's honestly got, gotten kind of sickening, but... Um, Benji barely missing the front sub. Yeah, I would agree. Dwarf is quite the magnificent man. Speaking of magnificent, you must check out my magnificent co-commentator, saving me from sitting here and talking to myself uh, in my own head for multiple minutes. Benji taking an extended pause here, perhaps a bit of IRL RNG, or maybe just some routing. Um, we're not seeing a lot of squares marked so far. Players seeming to have a bit of an issue finding objectives they want to go for or objectives that are you know, quick to grab. And I don't blame him. I mean, we got a lot of really high, you know, time sync objectives. You know, five stars in DDD, six stars in Rainbow Ride, five stars in BBH, 35 star or 30 total stars. Like these are these are long objectives. Um, it looks like Phaser Laser gonna get these cap stars, identifying a quick one and gonna go ahead and grab it. Is there any synergy though? Uh, can we use Vanish Cap for much? Uh, there is actually two capstage stars and three capstage stars Ooh. both on this card, so there's some immediate synergy there. And then, um, not seeing much beyond else. Beyond that, you can go for into the igloo and SL, I guess, if you want to do. That too. Three there's from also eight, seven but... castle secret stars. That's I'll, I'll take out half of that. Yeah, but I think I think going for three from uh, oh three from six as well. Benji taking another extended pause. Taking another pause. Um. Not too sure what's going on there. Oh, Zach was pretty close to getting stuck under the moving platform with and getting the uh, immediate death. Oh man. Yeah, Yogo kind of crushing Benji's soul right now. Perhaps that's the reason for the pauses. Just maybe disbelief. Maybe so. Benji was in a pretty, you know, convincing spot going into this one, but unable to grab any squares, and the lead is slipping away. Phaser in first place now. Yogo just kind of dominated me. We were, we were all counting him out, but Yogo is on the comeback trail. It's going to be a tough one, though. Needs to grab a lot of squares. Yeah, needs to get probably around half the board. I hope no one else gets anything else. I mean, the right, the right things are going. I mean, that honestly isn't out of the question. He only really needs five more squares. He would need five more squares, and Benji would literally have to get nothing, but it's possible. Yeah, that would put him at 13, then he'd get the three point bonus as well. Put him at 16, which would tie him with Benji. Oh, Wouldn't get him the win would, either. He'd at that six. point, I would assume Benji would still get a tiebreaker, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Dwarf, Dwarf is to... correct. Dwarf actually knows the rules of the tournament. Don't listen to me. Takes my brain an extra, like, 30 seconds to comprehend. That's actually true. Nice BLJ from Benji. Gonna be in tippy here. No one else up in tippy, so no sniping gonna be going on here. Benji will have free reign up here. But what are we going for? 100 points star on TCC. TC. There's 100 points star on a rainbow ride. Can you get 100 coins in Rainbow Ride without the carpet? We can. Well, then he could get that, and then he would have 300 coin stars. That'd be pretty good. Guessing that's the point. There are better. I'm, as far, there are better options though uh, for 100 coin stars than Rainbow Ride without the carpet. Yeah, but you got the or extra. Car or extra. carpetless, if I may. <laughs> Yeah. 
There is also 6 in RR here. Which again, that would probably be... Most likely, it would make sense to me to do 100 coin with can star, and then skip the big house star. We are on the board. Um, 100 coin star has been collected, this is huge. Benji changing the universe, potentially. The only one. Oh, it looks like Phaser really taking Oof. death. Could have been intentional there. Uh, it's a very w weird place to die. Yeah, it looks like we we're just trying to get out of the stage. As yes, Benji taking another pause here, just taking another quick glance over the board once again, trying to figure out what he wants to do. Yeah, just maybe taking a little bit of a nap. Feeling confident with that. Oh, excuse me, that's way too many points. <laughs> Zach oh, suddenly has 1,415 points. Absolutely crazy. It's that bonus yeah, point Zach factor. gets himself on the board here with Monkey Cage. Razor going to be going for three cap stage stars. If he can get this, honestly, I think that clinches him first place in this match. A lot of pausing going on. A lot of question mark, question mark, question mark, perhaps. Not a lot of great objectives left. I mean, all stars in SSL, 100 coin in RR, 6 stars in BBH. These are not easy objectives. Yeah, this, this card is not that great at all for any any lockout at all, not just any bingo at all, not, not just in a lockout scenario. Benji's hanging for a secret slide. Maybe going for Castle Secret Stars? Yeah, must be it. It's kind of what I was looking at. I'm surprised nobody's gotten red red coin and wet dry world yet. That's like a, a gimme. That's probably where Yoga's heading right now, I think. Kind of a long one, but I mean, it's it's a lot better than, like, you know, an entire stage yeah, of stars. Of everything that's left, it's by far the best. Not too many good, oh my goodness. good options right now. Yogo trying to get over there, but it's not succeeding. That's not enough distance. Oh, barely makes the ledge grab. Ooh. But unfortunately for him, Zach is already in the town. Going to be collecting mm -hmm. the red coins. Phaser's doing an HMC 100 coin here. I'd assume, I don't see... Yeah, I don't see HMC 100 anywhere in here. So this is probably just to get his third... Uh, third 100 coin star. Yahoo! And she did mark seven Castle Secret stars. As it stands now, this is going to leave... Actually, this will leave if, if no one else scores it, actually... Yeah, if no one else scores anything, then Benji, with the bonuses, Benji and Zach will both be tied for second. And Phaser will be taken first, as it stands right now. I assume we get something else going here. Looks like Zach's going from, for three from eight. Something I, that would make sense to me. I'm not too sure how many stages he's gone to yet, so if he's gotten like maybe five or six out of the way, he might have time to finish that task out, but not too sure what the play is here. We have word that he has seven.
Interesting triple jump dive there to get those last five uh, for Benji, but finishes out the uh, Bug Draw Road 100. Uh, that was his third 100 coin star, I believe, so not sure if. I'm pretty sure he beat Phaser on that one, but again, I'll have to check the VOD on that. I'm not too sure if his streams are completely synced. Give him some more work for, for Dwarf. Oh my gosh. Ooh! Is that getting Ooh. 30 total Ooh. stars and 3 from 8? That's huge. That is a pretty large development there. Yeah, and Benji failing to mark the 300 point stars, giving Phaser and Zach the lead here. That's actually catastrophic. Benji kind of okay. Um, Benji dying. Not too sure what what's going on there. Did Benji not collect the 100 point star in Wops? Are we all just like dumb? I'm 95% sure that he did. Yeah, because he got it when he was flipping off of getting flipped off the of Womp. So Benji definitely has 300 coin stars. It's just a matter of if he beat Phaser to it. Well, as Chad's discussing, I mean, if Benji isn't marking off the goals, I mean, at some point that's like a detriment to the other players. You know, we can't just let people not mark their goals and then other people, you know, be like, oh, I'm going to keep going for this goal. Kind of losing track of the scores here. I'm frantically counting squares to make sure that I've not messed up anything, but I think the scores are accurate. That looks good to me. Yeah, and I mean, Benji, I don't think, plays a lot of bingo, and was, like, asking the rule set for lockout bingo the other day, so... I mean, it kind of sucks, but at the end of the day, if you're not experienced, you're not, you know, playing the rules of the game, that's the way it goes. Yes, that is correct, Windfish. Oh, I don't think I've ever seen anyone get the CCM 100 on the slide like that. That was rather interesting as the Yogo takes the side flip off of the cruiser. Final minute here of this final round. So people are just messing around here, except for maybe Phaser is trying to get some extra stuff, so. Yeah, it doesn't look to me like anyone's doing anything actually worthwhile in these last 15 seconds, so I think it's safe to call that at the end of the match. Yes, I don't have to count anymore. Let's go. 
We have Ward from Dwarf. We have Phaser winning it with 23, and then Zach coming in second with 22. Benji not quite making the cut, sitting with 18. Yogo finishing in last with 11. Yeah, rough last match from Benji. I mean, just not being experienced in the lockout, not quite knowing uh, the extent of the importance of mark getting those squares marked as you do as you do them, and just kind of bite him in the booty. But let's see if we can get these players in for an interview here. Hello, phase or laser. Oh my god. Are you glad that you got the first place? Dude, I am trembling <laughs> with nerves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, you said you were a, a faucet at the beginning. Dude, yeah. It's, uh, yeah, it only got worse. That was, that was intense. Yeah, again, as it stands now, Phaser, of course, you've gotten the victory with 23, and Zach taking second place, who's one point behind Phaser there. GG. And then, so, yeah, I guess I'll head it over to Zach. Zach, how do you feel with your performance in this match? Yeah, you know, I, I got second, so I'm happy, but uh, as you could see, I died 1,500 times. Yeah. <laughs> every race, uh, every match, I died on Tama. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, I mean, I got second, so I'm happy. Yeah, so we'll be moving on to the semifinals. Not too sure what those matchups are going to look like uh, for next weekend, but nevertheless, you will be there in whatever those matchups are. So head down down to, uh, down to Yogo. Yogo, you kind of drug, uh, uh, I can talk, man, I swear. Uh, you really brought Benji down with you in that, uh, in that third match, uh, really just sniping him with almost every task you got in this match, uh, in this final round. So overall, how how do you feel with your performance in this this match? Um, honestly, I'm glad I was able to to play with all of these big, um, you know, great players. Um, and I mean, I feel a little bad for Benji because it seems like he didn't know that. Like, I, I feel almost like I'm stealing from him because he didn't know that he didn't that he had to mark the squares once he did them, like as soon as possible. So yeah, but I'm I'm glad I was here. And uh, GG's to all the rest of you guys. Yeah, GG. GG. Uh, GG's indeed. Alright, so I'm not too sure what's happening now because we're just waiting for Saren to come back pretty much just to, uh, just to end the stream and whatnot. So I guess we'll all just chill for a second here while I wait for that. Uh, but yeah, the. Um, Semi-finals, and I believe the finals next week will also be... Uh, will be this next weekend on the 7th and the 8th. Uh, yeah, not too sure what this matchup is going to look like. Or really when they are. That's just a rough estimate from what I've seen uh, across the Discord. Uh, so th those will get scheduled at some point soon, I would presume. Yeah, overall, I think all of you guys did surprisingly well. Um, of course, some people weren't quite as experienced with, with Bingo, and that really showed, especially in this final match. Yeah, uh, it was also my first time playing Bingo. Yeah, you, you, you think just, just by... Go ahead, Pacer. I said, you crushed this the third round here. I was like, you you had like five things on the board, and I was like, no, man. Yeah, but I, was going for, I was going for Rainbow Ride 100 as well, but then I fell down three times. Ah... Uh... Well, I, I don't know what the commentators were talking about earlier about me coming back. I was definitely here the whole time. Uh, that was definitely just slander. Uh, but yeah, shout outs to the runners. Plugged you earlier. Make sure to go follow them. Uh, make sure to stop by next week as well for the thrilling semifinals. Gonna have two star studded matchups for you. Follow on Twitter. Check out the Discord. Uh, for now, I'm late for another commentary, which we're gonna go raid Menace Monk, uh, expert tournament uh -huh. organizer. If you guys don't already follow Menace, go check him out. He's running a 16-star tournament right now, a no LBLJ invitational tournament. Pretty awesome. Um, see these community tournaments popping up left and right. So, yeah, shout-outs again to the runners. 
to the commentator in the booth, and I will see everybody back here next week. We also got some SMO matches coming up tomorrow, so don't miss out on that either if you're a fan of the Super Mario Odyssey. But for now, we're going to go check out Menace Monk, and I'll see everybody then. Bye, guys. Right. Thanks. Thanks, guys. See you. Have Bye. a good one. <laughs>